In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the MITM attack against the HTTPS with the MITM proxy. This tutorial introduces uh, the attacks against both HTTP and uh, HTTPS, but uh, I'm going to just demonstrate the attack against uh, HTTPS. Okay, so here is uh, the big picture of uh, this uh, demonstration. So here we have a, an IoT kit, Down here we have a, a virtual machine, it's a Ubuntu virtual machine. And uh, the Ubuntu virtual machine runs uh, the Apache web server. And uh, this uh, IoT kit sends messages to this uh, Apache web server. What we are going to do is uh, we are going to deploy this uh, MITM proxy on the same virtual machine, we are going to config the virtual machine so that the MITM proxy will be able to intercept the communication between the IoT kit and uh, the Apache web server. Okay, so the hardware setup. So you can see here, we have the IoT kit and we have the virtual machine already set up. And the software setup on our Ubuntu VM, we already installed the Apache web server. Okay, but uh, before you start, you want to actually make sure, you know, your Ubuntu VM network uses a bridged adapter and uh, so in my case, basically the Ubuntu VM and my IoT kit will connect to my home Wi-Fi. Okay. And uh, so good. And you can see here I'm using bridge adapter for my you know Ubuntu VM. So it's good. So now I'm going to start the Ubuntu VM. Okay. And uh, so let's wait because I want to show you the Apache web server runs on the Ubuntu VM. Okay, so the Ubuntu VM is up. And uh, so I'm going to log into my Ubuntu VM. So let me start this uh, browser. Also, I need to start a terminal to find out uh, the IP address of uh, this uh, Ubuntu VM. So it's uh, 192.168.1.19. So 192. Okay, we already have it. So you can see actually, so the Apache web server is running. And uh, so now we need to enable HTTPS on this Apache web server. So this command is going to create the server private key and uh, the self-signed certificate. So 
So we don't have a, a CA here, and uh, we use uh, the server's private key to sign the certificate of the server. That's why it's called a self-signed certificate. Good. Okay, so here we enter information for the certificate. So here we want to make sure we have the correct IP address as a common name. So this is very important. So you want to make sure your common name is the IP address. Okay, good. So now we have a the server's private key and the certificate ready. And uh, then here, to start HTTPS web server, we need a, a configuration file, but uh, this file is already ready in my case. And uh, so I'm not going to redo it, but uh, let's uh, reload the HTTPS server so that we can use the new key. So good, everything is already enabled. We restart. And so we already enabled the this uh, server, and also we want to reload. Apache two. Okay, so everything's good. So PHP is already installed on my Ubuntu VM, and all the scripts are over there. And uh, so here. The MITM proxy is already over there. My LT kit project is uh, on Ubuntu VM. So now we need to set up uh, IP tables. The purpose is uh, the IP tables is uh, Linux's firewall by setting up uh, the folding rules and uh, other rules so we can actually route the HTTPS traffic to MITM proxy. So this is uh, about enabling forwarding. It is about uh, rerouting the HTTPS traffic to our MITM proxy. This is the port the MITM proxy runs on. Although we don't actually intercept, uh, you know, the HTTP traffic, but uh, let's just add uh, this root two. And uh, so if uh, we use this command, we can list uh, all the rules in the IP tables. So we skip uh, the MITM attack against the HTTP, and we are going to look at uh, the attack against the HTTPS. Okay, so we are going to use a second approach. So basically, uh, this uh, MITM proxy has uh, the same private key and uh, certificate as a uh, you know, the Apache web server. Okay. So let's just start another terminal. And then we go to documents. And uh, so let me delete everything here.
So I'm going to use this command to create a key file required by MITM proxy. Good. So now we can run MTM proxy. Okay. So now let's actually do this. Okay, we start this uh VS code because we are going to flash the new firmware into our LT kit. So first I'm going to actually come to here. Delete this uh, certificate. So for this project, right, for this firmware, we have to copy the server's certificate here so that the IoT kit firmware will be able to authenticate the server. Okay, so I need a come back to here and uh, to actually find the server's certificate. It's in this folder, folder of uh, SSL. Called a server okay this one so this is uh, the one we just created and we come back to the former project folder and copy the certificate to here good so now let me double check everything here. So we, okay. So we need to modify everything here. So basically we need to do two things. We need to actually disable this line because now we are using this HTTPS. And also you want to make sure here the server name is right. So this is the URL. And uh, because uh, the IoT kit is going to send the message to this IP address, and uh, this script is going to process the data sent from the IoT kit. Remember, this is uh, the IoT kit's firmware, right? And also, you need actually to run the settings to configure Wi-Fi. I'm not going to show you my Wi-Fi password, but you need to search your Wi-Fi uh, configuration and, and configure it, okay? So let me see if I change everything. This one's done, this one's done. Okay, so this one's done. So now we can actually build.
So you can see here our UART port is correct. Okay, flash it. Okay, then we monitor it. So it looks everything's right. So if we come back to this uh, IMITM proxy, you can see everything's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to quit this uh, MITM proxy, and then you can see here is wrong because you know uh, the MITM proxy is not, not going to forward the traffic to the Apache web server. That's why now things are getting wrong. Okay, so the next step is that we are going to decrypt the TLS traffic. So let's actually Start Wireshark. Okay. Then we actually run this command, and uh, this will save SSL TLS master secret, uh, secrets into this file. Start a new window here, and uh, I'm going to go to. Oh, so I don't need to use another new window. I can just come to here because here is a uh, where we actually start the MITM proxy. So we just run it. Okay, good. Looks everything's right. And then we start Warshock. Okay, looks everything's good. So we stop it. Okay, and uh, I'm also going to stop this uh, IMTM proxy. So if uh, with this, then you can see here we have uh, this uh, key file. And uh, if we follow the TLS stream, you can see there's nothing here because uh, we don't know how to decrypt the TLS traffic, right? So we need to do this. We need to actually use the key file we just got. So we need to come back to here, find the TLS, okay, documents, key file, Okay, good. So now you can see the color changes. And uh, so now if you follow this one again, you can see now we can decrypt, you know, the TLS data. So that's all about uh, this uh, attack against uh, HTTPS.